Today on Geek Devotions, we're talking about Jet Jaguar from Godzilla Singular Point and also how he's not a bad representation of the growth that everyone goes through as believers of Jesus. Hello, Devoted Geeks. Welcome to Geek Devotions, a show from Devoted Geeks. who are devoted to letting you know that you are loved. I'm Dallas. I'm so glad you hit the play button today. If you're new to our show, we take geek pop culture albums like movies, video games, and comic books, and we use them to let you know that you're loved. So if you don't watch past this moment right here, right now, know this. We love you care about you. There is a plan and a purpose for your life. I want to apologize if this episode isn't as crisp and clean as it normally is. Uh, I'm using our streaming setup to record today because I'm still recovering from a kids camp that I just had an opportunity to serve in called Hero Academy. If you want to know more about the academy and uh, some of the stuff that took place there and uh, and my thoughts on it, check out my personal podcast, Good Morning Devotional Podcast. There'll be a link in the description down below for you to hear that episode. As I said in my intro, we're talking about Jet Jaguar from Godzilla Singular Point, which uh, is an anime that just came stateside yesterday. As a recording of this, it came out yesterday. I watched the entire series. It was interesting. Might have a review on our website later uh, down the road. But Jet Jaguar is an interesting character throughout the entire series. He's kind of like this weird, like... Um, staple throughout the whole thing. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Jet Jaguar, he appeared first in 1973 in Godzilla vs. Megalon. He was kind of this uh, Ultraman-esque looking character. Uh, apparently, he was originally created like, like he was designed by a kid like they did this big huge competition in japan design the next you know monster and for godzilla and a kid designed them and then the studio said this is cool we're going to change this completely and then they took it <laughs> and so thus became jet jaguar now from my understanding he wasn't terribly popular with people at the time and for some reason, in recent years, he's grown in popularity amongst the kaiju-loving community, uh, which may explain why he uh, is picked up for this particular anime series. What I found interesting about Jet Jaguar, though, is that he had this kind of growing arc, and literally, he he grew throughout the entire series. On the front end, he was really just he was just kind of a basic mech, if you will, uh, small, rinking, kind of homemade looking, which uh, he was homemade, kind of. <laughs> And, but throughout the series, you see him growing. You see them adding on to him. They're helping him. They're equipping him to be better than he was before. And then they equip him with something else, with this AI. And then all of a sudden, as he's going throughout uh, the journey of the series, he's growing even more in his personal knowledge and the way he does things and the way that he communicates and um, to the point where he becomes invincible all through his personal growth. And that struck me uh, because... I feel like we all go through that as individuals. We all go through a journey of personal growth in every area of life. But specifically, as a believer, we grow uh, in increments, similar to the way Jet Jaguar was. When someone is new to Christianity, they are kind of spoon-fed. They're given all these pieces like, hey, here's this, here's that, and they're helped along the way. In the scriptures, uh, that it's often referred to as giving a person milk. It's super easy. It's not a lot going on. It's just to get them going, get the ball rolling, and help them to grow. They're kind of spoon-fed. Jet Jaguar was given pieces to help him to function. Originally, people were actually helping him. Like, hey, you do this, you do that. But eventually, every believer has to get to the point where they are feeding themselves, where they are growing themselves, where they are becoming what they need to be. In the series, there's this interesting conversation how at one point, Jet's given this particular code. And what happens in the code is that as it unlocks, it basically gives new code and then it gives new code. And Jet was self-learning and literally upgrading, updating uh, on his own, uh, almost uncontrollably, because he was just in going down this rabbit hole. We as believers, we have to get to the point where we have a particular code given to us and we dive deep and we grow on our own. For us, that's the scriptures. We have to get to the point where we are diving into the scriptures on our own, reading it and striving to understand it in context. Now, that doesn't mean that and when you become an older Christian that you should just be, you know, this lone ranger, but you should be equipped enough to read the Bible and understand it in context. People should have taught you how to understand context and how to extrapolate or exegete, if you will, what the scripture means to the people of the era and then how it applies to your life today. If we don't do this, if we don't go through this process of learning to feed ourselves, we fall uh, and we become in danger of falling into a possible. We fall, get ourselves in danger of falling away from the Lord and falling uh, victim to some false teachings. The writer of Hebrews left a warning about this very thing. Hebrews chapter five, starting verse 12. 
For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. It's essential for us to be really diving into the word of God and growing into learning, but also developing helping the maturity to go, okay, this is, this is godly. This is not godly. Now that takes a community that takes a lot of training, but some people that have gotten to the point, maybe they're away from the word of God, or they're away from, from who God is. And they have to kind of start over. They have to go back to the basics and start growing again. This leads me to my question for you guys. Where are you with your walk with God? Have you been out of the word of God? Have you not been reading it? Do you need to dive back in and go back to the basics and rebuild your faith from the ground up? Please understand, I'm not talking about deconstruction of your faith and all that kind of stuff. That is some dangerous heresy that is destroying people's lives, to be perfectly honest. But what I am talking about is getting back to the basics, getting back to the Word of God and reading in context and learning to make proper biblical application to your life. In order for you and I to accomplish what God has for us, we have to be in His Word and we have to be in prayer. And as we grow in the Lord, yeah, there's a lot more meat that's out there that we can get into. We can get into all kinds of theological conversations. We can get into uh, all kinds of really interesting theological ideas. But if the basics aren't there, it's worthless. There's no point to it. Well, guys, that was your episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Question of the week for you is, again, Jet Jaguar was kind of this weird uh, character that for a long time just seemed like a one-off thing. It was picked up here and there. What one-off character from your favorite series would you love to see revitalized and maybe uh, a little more focus put on leave a comment down below and let me know i also encourage you guys to check out our podcast com talk by geek devotions where celeste and i we're going to be publishing our 100th episode we're going to be talking about com talk as a whole and some of our favorite episodes and maybe some of the things we didn't necessarily like this past year or this past 100 episodes of com talk don't forget to check out all of our social media facebook instagram and twitter and twitch just look for geek devotions we pop up really easily and don't forget to check our website geekdevotions.com where we have all kinds of cool things coming out all the time including uh, written versions of these devotions. We have articles written by friends and all kinds of other great things, including possibly, just possibly, a review on Godzilla's singular point. Until next time, stay devoted, peace and love.